Um, so Pip, can you tell the viewers why Stop the War, Stop the War Coalition is going to um, Canberra today to protest against Obama and Australia's alliance with America? Well, we, we say this is a very good opportunity to express the views of the majority of Australians uh, who are opposing the war in Afghanistan. Um, we also know that the uh, majority of Australians disagree with uh, an alliance with the US, which is essentially an alliance for around war. It's an alliance for the rich. It's an alliance of the 1% to basically keep wars going in parts of the world where, uh, well, in, 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 in Iraq and Afghanistan in particular, where it was clear that people had disagreed with both those wars. So we're going to make our voices heard um, because this is a great opportunity as they are meeting together at uh, Parliament House. Um, this is a very critical time. Uh, it's 10 years that Australia has been part of this war in Afghanistan. Um, we have no idea how many people have died, how many Afghans and Pakistanis have died. We only hear about uh, the casualties of uh, Australian soldiers. There's around 32 that have died now. More than 2,500 American soldiers have died in this war. Um, but we never hear about the real implications of the war for the people of Pakistan, the people of Afghanistan. And uh, it's a criminal war. Um, it's a war uh, that it's, it, it's a war that uh, now a majority of Australians say is wrong and uh, that the troops must come out. And yet the Gillard government is saying that, we, that Australia will stay there regardless. So this is yet another indication that uh, this government's not listening to Australian voices. We're also going to protest the, the strengthening, the recent announcements from both Gillard and Obama that there will be a strengthening of the alliance and that means that more American troops will be on Australian soil. Now, this is without any discussion with the Australian people. This is an, an yet another foreign policy announcement um, when really the whole series of foreign policy over the last period is actually gone against the wishes of the Australian people. So we're, we're saying that we object to um, uh, an alliance which is essentially a war alliance. It's an, it's, it's an, it's a, it's an offensive alliance. It's got really nothing to do with defence of Australia. Um, and in the, it, it's spending you know, billions of dollars on, on killing people and on armaments uh, and the armaments industries uh, when at the same time we're getting squeezed, our public services are getting squeezed, our um, schools, hospitals um, getting squeezed for, for, for money. So, you know, the, the priorities are all wrong and I think a lot of us going up to make this, to, to take our protest to Canberra are uh, concerned about um, the huge gap between what the elites are deciding on behalf of the country and what the majority of us believe ought to be done with um, uh, the you know, with, with the funding and, and the budget here. My name is Vivian Porjolt and I'm, I'm going here to Canberra today to protest against the President of the United States because I'm outraged that this guy swans into town for a few hours, t pats us on the head and says he's going to bring his soldiers and his armaments and going to camp in our um, northernmost city and our government is um, saying this is a wonderful thing and allowing us to do this. And I think this is totally outrageous. There hasn't been a skerrick of parliamentary discussion, not a skerrick of media discussion. And we're supposed to take this as completely normal that, it, that the United States tells us that they're wanting to exercise leadership in this region, that they're, they're going to engage with this region. And this region. And we're supposed to see that as the most um, you know, marvelous gift on earth. And what it really is, is just the reach of the American Imperium. And um, it's, it's, uh, I'm just totally outraged and that's why I'm going. All I had to say was when it comes to Julian Assange, it should be, don't shoot the messenger, we should thank him. And when it comes to Bradley Manning, we should recognize him as the bravest young man of our time. A truly worthy character who 
deserves all the support that we can offer. There aren't too many people on the ground that do stand up for the right thing, but here's somebody that has done as much and should be supported and applauded.